Hey mums and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a gender neutral baby haul. We have just started buying some things for our baby. I am 22 weeks pregnant with our second child and we are not finding out the gender. So I thought I would share some of the gender neutral items that I got in case there was anyone else out there who was also not finding out the gender and wanted some ideas of things that they could still buy for their baby. The first thing that we got is some bamboo baby face washes and this is a three pack that was $8 at best and less and honestly you need about a million face washes when your baby is first born and we still had some that were in good condition from when Hunter was born but majority of them got so well used we had to throw them out so I decided to get some new ones but this time I decided to invest in some good quality bamboo ones just because when they are first born, their skin is so sensitive and you don't want to be using those cheapies on them till they're a little bit older. The next thing that we got is a bassinet sleep pack. I kept all of my cot sheets because Hunter still uses them, but I got rid of our bassinet sheets when we moved down and I really wanted something with bunnies on it. So for those of you who uh, don't really know us that well, my son, all of his stuff is basically fox related and like wilderness and all of that. And this baby, we decided to go with bunnies because bunnies is a good fertility, um, like good luck symbol. And um, we just kind of thought that this baby was a bit of our good luck charm, seeing as we struggled so much to have Hunter and we were really lucky to fall pregnant quite quickly with um, our second baby. So... Um, this has got some foxes and some rabbits on it, which I think is just perfect. It comes with this little bag here, um, so I won't pull the bassinet sheet out, but I will just show you guys the print up close. And it says that it comes with a fitted sheet and a bunny rug, and it's made with 95% organic cotton. And I believe this was $25, so... Um, a little bit pricier than some places like Kmart and all that, but I wanted something that was nice and soft. Because we live in Hobart, it is going to be completely freezing cold by the time it hits August. So I knew that I needed to get something in case my baby didn't want to be swaddled or in case they kicked their blankets off. And so I decided to go in and pick up this little fluffy outfit here. Uh, we actually use one for Hunter because he doesn't like to have a blanket. So um, we picked this up. It says Snuggle Bunny on it and it is white and I absolutely love it. And the hands have got like these little fold over covers, which are perfect for newborns when they try to scratch their face because Hunter was the absolute worst for doing that. The next thing that we got, we actually got um, right at the very beginning. I used this as part of my announcement to hubby and this just says the update, um, which is again just best and less. I think it was like $4. Then I grabbed two packets of white singlets just in size 4O. These were $5 each. Uh, again, best and less. I prefer the best and less singlets because they are made of stretchy material. I found that a lot of other brands, they weren't stretchy, so they were really annoying to get over their head. I then picked up this little like teddy bear outfit in like kind of a mustardy color I guess because I did want a bit of color but I didn't want to go with anything that was like too girly or too boyish. Um, so we picked that up from Best and Less as well and that was only $4. These are something that my sister actually bought and they came with another outfit um, and they're in a 4.0 as well and they've just got like these little blue and mustard colored um, spots on them and I thought they were really cute. Hunter actually has uh, the same pair of these in his size so I thought I would pick them up and they could have some like cute matching photos and they're just like these little leggings that were five dollars and they've just got some leaves on them. And then my mum went out and bought some outfits for baby while she was visiting and we went to Myra and they had a marquee sale or however you want to pronounce it. And I decided to get one of these button up onesies for my hospital bag. Usually in an older baby, I wouldn't get buttons all the way up and down because it takes forever to change them. But for a newborn, when we had Hunter in the NICU, it was really important to have an outfit that had buttons the whole way up and down because if they are uh, for whatever reason hooked up to a machine, they won't let you wear clothes unless they can actually put all the cords in and out safely. So um, that was something that I really wanted just in case. 
And then she picked up these other little singlet onesies. There's this one here which has a mouse on it and a little plain grey one which can all just go under the outfits because obviously it's going to be cold. And then she picked up this other one here which has got little rabbits on it which is really cute. And the last thing that I picked up yesterday was this little onesie that says ain't nobody got time for naps. Um, which I hope is not the case, but I just thought it was really cute. And again, it's just a 4-0. I do have some other gender neutral clothing that we have kept from Hunter. Um, but I will keep that for a later date vlog. This is just all the stuff that we have bought specifically for this baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I am also planning on getting a little bunny rabbit instead of a teddy bear for this baby as well, um, which I'll probably get in either a brown or a grey colour. If you guys have any other gender neutral items that you love, feel free to link them down below in the comments for me. I'd love to check them out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is just your little reminder to hit the subscription button and the thumbs up if you enjoy my channel. I post three videos a week, usually either a Monday, Wednesday and Thursday or a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 7.30pm Eastern Standard Time.